Yo, what is up guys, it is Rowdy here, and today guys, I'm going to be bringing you another first impressions video, and this one is going to be on the game mode free for all. Now, if you guys are new to this series on my channel, it's pretty simple. It's just where I give my first impressions, some tips, some, just about anything on Black Ops 3. Alright, so let's get started. So free for all, it's pretty fun. Um, if you guys did not know, it is a free for all, kind of crazy, huh? But free for all... Um, I'm starting something new on my first impressions. Um, I'm going to be playing five games, and I'm going to take the average time. And an av average time out of five games for free-for-all is around seven minutes. So about every free-for-all you're going to get into is going to be around seven minutes. That's what it came up to for me. Now, it's going to vary on maps and guns and weapons and your opponents and their skill level. But for me, around seven minutes. So right up on screen right about now, you can see that 3% of players online are playing three f free for all. And you need about 4 to 8 players. And that 3% doesn't look like a high number at all. In fact, it looks like very low. I mean, it's 3%. And if you guys remember from my Team Deathmatch video, 50% of the people online playing Team Deathmatch. So that... 3% is kind of low. So since this is a first impressions video, I need to give my first impressions. And honestly, the first time I jumped into a free-for-all in Black Ops 3, I didn't enjoy it very much. I wasn't sure why. And then as I started playing more, um, I've gained a knowledge why I didn't like it as much when I first started. So if you guys didn't know, the easiest and most effective way to win a free-for-all as you can see on screen right now, is to lock down an area of the map right here. I'm on the map Stronghold using the HVK, and I'm just watching one section of the map kill someone and turn around and watch a different section of the map. And I notice it's a lot harder to do in this game, and I'm not really sure why. It's Maybe it's just the different movement, um, but that's the most effective way, and it's a little more difficult to do in this game. So, like I just said, the most effective way to win a free-for-all is lock down a section of the map. If you guys want to be winning free-for-alls and just doing good in general in the game of free-for-all, you need to lock down a section of the map. And you guys also need to remember, it just can't be any section of the map. You want to lock down a high traffic area, like where somewhere where you know the enemies will be spawning or just anywhere in general where spawns are close like right here I know that someone will spawn literally right there and then right next to me so I was just locking down the map so guys that is my opinion on free for all didn't really like it in the beginning and now it's grown on me so let me know your guys opinion of free for all down below in the comments and let me know what you guys want to see next and Hit that like button if you guys enjoy, and subscribe if you are new. And I'm out. Goodbye!